Thank you very much, Cameron, uh, and a warm thank you to Uncle Bill for that wonderful welcome. Uh, it's all, always wonderful to feel uh, genuinely welcome to the lands of the Biripai people, and I'd like to expend, extend my respects to Elders past and present of the Biripai Nation, uh, and also extend that respect to any Aboriginal people who are with us here today. My first job is to uh, acknowledge that we have uh, a number of dignitaries with us here today. Uh, last year, uh, we were, it was an um, interesting moment in the nation's history uh, and the timing for our first regional leadership conference uh, in some ways was impeccable. We were able to attract the Federal Minister for uh, Regional Development, Simon Crean, uh, and our own local member who had negotiated an agreement with the new federal government in which regionalism was central. Uh, so what we heard from our local member back then was the significance of a commitment to regional Australia. And what we heard from Minister Crean was a challenge for us to join the dots, for us in regions to find ways to create our own solutions to grab the opportunities that the 21st century offers us. This year as well, we will be joined by both those speakers again. Uh, I do in particular want to uh, acknowledge that Minister Crean has an extremely busy schedule that involves beginning the day in Sydney and ending the day in Tasmania with a visit to Port Macquarie and Kempsey in between. So he won't uh, be able to stay for the day uh, and I know there are a number of people who would have liked to have met with him today but it's just not possible. But we really appreciate the fact that he's still uh, able to be here and will be able to give us, we hope, a bit of a report card on what's happened in the last 12 months uh, in terms of regionalism. And also this year, uh, we will have this afternoon another man with a very busy schedule, uh, our Deputy Premier, Andrew Stoner, uh, another person who, like his federal counterparts, really gets it that local action works best. As well as our political dignitaries, uh, we do have a number of other people who I'd like to thank very much for making their time available. Uh, Rob's counterpart from, the Cal from CALPA, Luke Hartsuka, who some of you will hear from later this afternoon. The Executive Director for Trade and Investment, Michael Cullen a number of mayors and general managers from around regional New South Wales, regional development officers who are making ideas uh, become actions, and uh, John Walkham, one of the other chairs of Regional Development Australia from west of the mountains in the Arana region. And of course, as happened last year, uh, we have an extremely interesting and stimulating international speaker in Professor Marku Sotorauta. Uh, and we really appreciate the fact that he's made the journey from Finland again to stimulate some ideas and thoughts for us today. We do have a couple of apologies which I'd like to acknowledge. The Minister for Innovation, uh, Senator Carr, uh, our local state member, Leslie Williams, and the Minister for the North Coast, Don Page, all of whom would have liked to be able to be here but just uh, couldn't make it today. So this event is presented by Regional Development Australia Mid-North Coast and our corporate partner, Virgin Australia. And part of the reason for hosting a, a conference like this, apart from demonstrating that it's possible to, to have a conference about regionalism in a region, is also because RDA Mid-North Coast has a strong sense that we can strengthen our own capacity to be an innovative region if we can build the skills and the collaboration and the fresh thinking that allows us to capture the opportunities that are before us now. And communication is a key tool in doing that. And that's really what these conferences are about. They're designed to facilitate high-level conversations that are still accessible and relevant. Um, and, and I hope, like last year, we get to experience that again today. But of course, we wouldn't be able to host an event like this 
without the generosity of a broad range of sponsors. Uh, and I would like to just take a moment, since it's their contribution that has made the conference so affordable for all of you, uh, to acknowledge who those organisations are. The event partners are TAFE Directors Australia and Pam Cavens here today representing that organisation. The University of Adelaide, and you'll hear in a moment from Professor Andrew Beer, uh, who was one of the instigators of this conference. Uh, and the Regional Studies Association, uh, under whose sponsorship we've been able to have uh, Marku come out from Finland again. The premier sponsors are uh, a couple of our own uh, important regional institutions, the Mid-North Coast Local Health District and North Coast TAFE. And those of you who were able to participate in workshops yesterday will have heard from a range of practitioners in those organisations. And the inventors of REMPLAN, uh, an important tool for planning in regions, compelling economics, are uh, our third premier sponsor. And we'll hear from Matthew Nicholl on uh, a panel this afternoon. A range of associate sponsors have also made a significant contribution. Oz Industry, Coffs Harbour City Council, Digital Science and Printing, Enterprise Connect, Focus, Holiday Coast Credit Union, Huawei, MyTech, Oz Design Furniture, we can guess where that gorgeous wing chair came from, Olive Communications and the University of Newcastle. And those of you who were able to enjoy a cocktail last night, that was due to the generosity of Port Macquarie Hastings Council and the Glass House. And your satchels have been sponsored by Essential Energy. And finally, some supporters who've also contributed. New South Wales Trade and Investment, Manning Valley Chamber of Commerce, Nambucca Shire Council, and TAFE New South Wales Illawarra Institute. So, in conclusion, today we can expect again to be challenged and stimulated by the diverse range of business and community and political speakers who we have with us, challenged to think and act regionally in ways that build the nation's productivity. Make sure that you tweet this afternoon uh, to get the, the controversy happening. I think it'll be really good for us if we can um, have a really engaging series of sessions on the lounge this afternoon. As Cameron mentioned, the ideas that are generated today will be made available to all of you through our website. We are a diverse audience, but we have in common a passion for regional Australia. And that's a great recipe for learning. So enjoy the day. Thank you very much.